Hi guys, here we are in another episode of How Do I? And this one's How Do I Add Shapes Together in Affinity Designer on the iPad. And I happen to be on an iPad Mini 6. Now the project screen I've got up there, the canvas is simply a 6x8 photo canvas. Doesn't matter what you use. And this one will do. Now let's show the, uh, the, the menu items. You can see down the left hand side I've got rectangle tool, top left I'm already selected on the move tool, the top bar there's document, edit, design a pixel and export. There's lots of others but they're the only ones I'm using at the moment. The edit one is the three dots at the top. Okay so let's let go of that and I'll select the rectangle tool down the bottom. Think of that as the shape making tool. What I'm going to do first because these are very short videos drag out a rectangle and then using the little X that's third from the bottom on the left I'll deselect that. There's a couple of bars selected there so you can just see where your rectangle is because it's no color at the moment. Let's draw another rectangle there and draw it there. So let's go over here and give them both a color so that they don't merge so badly in the background. Simple. Let's just give them any color you like. That'll do doesn't matter but both layers are selected easy now we go to the edit mode just there top left hand side the three dots and simply in geometry add the shapes together have a look in the layers panel you've now got a single curve that's one layer those two shapes added together let's deselect those so we don't inadvertently move them around there they are selected when you select there's now only one shape there and it's the added shape. Now why would this be useful? You might be making something. Let's try an ellipse. That's the round tool we've got now. See up there? Ellipse. Let's draw a round tool. A round circle. There we go. And we'll color the circle green just to be different. Okay. Deselect the circle because what I want to do is put a peaked roof on that so we've got a triangle. Now you saw that I hope, triangle. There it is, the triangle shape. The triangle. Can we make this another colour? Let's see if this works. Let's make the triangle yellow. Well, kind of a yellow. It's a bit of a sickly yellow, but there you go. Let's join them together, and you'll note that when I go to geometry and add them together, it becomes all one color. It adds it to the major color. But that's all right. I just wanted to show you that you can't change colors like that. What we've got there is a circle with a little peak on it. That might be a radio dial you're building. So you don't have to go around and try and carefully draw it. Let's deselect that. A little cross down the bottom there. Deselected. Hide the layers panel. And there you go. You've got a square with a dial. Let's go up to the move tool. Select our dial. And take it over and put it there. Let's move it down so it's very small. And move it to about there. That looks a good spot. Deselect it so you can see it without the bars. Now you could put numbers all around that. You could do anything you like. We're building a radio set. Adding colours together. Adding shapes together. You'll notice we've still only got two shapes. It's not loaded with curves. And because we're in designer, they're both curves. Which means that's the perfect SVG. Now that's all there is to it. Let's not get complex. This is simply how do you and how do you add shapes together. One last attempt. Triangle tool. Bring it up. We've got a square star for example. We'll make the square star something grey. Very ordinary grey. Square star. There we go. Rough as you like. Deselect it so I don't inadvertently change it. Put a heart on there. Use the move tool.
and the heart sits in the top like that. Now you've got another nice little shape. Let's go over there, select them both. Go up to edit, add, and there you go. Added together, deselect them. There's another new shape you've got. Now there's that shape, there's that shape, and there's that shape. What happens if you add those two shapes together? I'll let you find that out. And there we go. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.